So before we begin, you might want to make sure you have a couple of these items. We definitely need a Cat5 cable, one with the RJ45 connection, the other end can be crimped with the wires exposed. That's going to be the end that we're going to be connecting to the GDS. Uh, we'll also need a PoE switch or something at least with power, an open door switch or just any type of common switch. A door lock, this could be a magna lock or any type of conventional uh, locking system. Um, we're going to need a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. Last but not least, definitely need a GDS and a power supply to power the magna lock. And here's our punch block. Now here's something that you should do before you start uh, doing your wiring. Make sure you go to each one and open it. And it's gonna be very conventional, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So if you could remember that, you can work with this punch block. But I like to unscrew everything so I know that when I insert a wire, all I have to do is tighten it for it to properly clamp. Now, in order to get the PoE to work, we will have to pair the brown white and the brown wire and twist them together. We're also gonna be doing this with the blue and blue white wires, for they need to be two pairs in which connects into the back end of the GDS block. One thing you should do is pull off that rubber grommet and go ahead and thread your ethernet cable through. It should fit nice and snug, but not too snug to where you couldn't get any other wires past that grommet. I usually will first start off with the brown paired wire and work my way up. Now if your hands are really big, um, you might want to start with the orange then work your way down because it does get a little bit hard as you work your way up from the brown. Um, but as you can see, righty tighty, twist those wires in, and it's pretty simple. You just match color to color. You can see right there on the punch block that brown and brown white are connected together, just like how we have it twisted. So you really can't screw this up unless you're um, screwing the punch down wrong. Uh, but beyond that, it should be straightforward. And after you tighten everything up, you might want to go ahead and pull on those wires and check to make sure that none of them are loose or, or, or falsely contacting that punch block. Now that we have that done, let's go ahead and test the PoE. The last thing you want to do is start wiring everything and for something not to work as simple as the PoE. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to carefully insert that punch block back in the GDS. And once we have that secure, there's no need to tighten any of the nuts or bolts in there. You can go ahead and just plug it in and watch it as it boots up. bell turning blue and it should start blinking white perfect and then you'll get a cool little blue indication of all the keys uh, starting to turn blue one by one there we go Next, we're going to go ahead and start with the rest of our wiring. Now, we will be doing the failsafe electric strike PoE powering wire, di wire diagram. So, we are going to be loosening the NC2 and COM2 connections. As you can see with that first wire, I'm plugging it into COM2. That is the blue wire that's coming out of it. Next, I'm going to be taking a gray wire and connecting that into NC2. So at this point, you should only have two wires coming out of that GDS, the NC2 and COM2 ports. We are going to hook up the NC2 port directly to the ground on the magna lock. Next, we're going to be taking our COM wires and plugging that into the ground of the power supply. All right, once those two wires are connected, we're going to go ahead and plug the power end of the power supply directly to the power of the magna lock here. Now, we're only hooking up these three wires because we're going to actually plug everything in um, and make sure that it all works. And this is going to test the power supply.
plugging the power supply in and you should hear an audible click if you're using the Magnalock. Next, we're gonna be loosening up all the other uh, contacts that we will be using, N1 plus, N1 negative, N1 two negative, and N2 plus. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take a secondary wire, a secondary blue wire, and connect that into the N1 negative. And after we get that screwed down, we're gonna go ahead and take our switch and thread one of the wires into the GDS punch block and we're gonna be connecting that into the N1 plus. Now from there, we're gonna take that blue wire that's connected to the N1 negative and connect it to the ground of the power supply. Now we're gonna be taking the other wire of that switch and twisting it up and connecting it to the positive voltage of the Magnalock. Next, we're gonna plug everything up and test. As you can see, the magna lock just kicked out and we're good to go. We hope that you found that video tutorial helpful and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for the latest in video tutorials. I'm Nathan Sharp, you have a good one.